Hey folks, how you doing? Laducium here playing the Stanley Parable. I'm continuing from last time and we are confused. No! I was afraid I'd have to start over again. Also, Mondays. Am I right? So, where are we going? Uh, we are following the voices in our head because he came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Because otherwise we get punished. Huh. I like the posters. No inspirational setting, sending <laughs> sayings, make me a sad panda. Hmm. Hmm. Hoping to see something. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I see. Group 44X, 43X, so it's all the employees' ideas plus development. <laughs> what to do about 432? Oh, 432. You're a wily bastard. Legal. It's underlined. Office efficiency. Employee numbers. Interesting. Unfinished agenda items right next day's agenda. Reflect. <laughs> I, I've seriously had meetings like this. It's sad. Uh, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna move on. Eventually, I, I want to actually read through all this stuff because it's kind of funny to me. But I also do want to see the game. No, not you, broom closet. I know you. Trying to trick me with your, staircase, with your ways. Walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okie dokie. Nope. Can't close the door. Uh, what's going on over here? I wonder. I can't jump. And that kind of disorients me. Uh, business time. Interesting. All right. Can I go in there? Nope. Can I go in here and take an executive poop? No. Well then, let's close the doors behind us. Office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret <laughs> number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. So, 2845. Got to remember that. There is a security camera up there. I like how the boss's ceiling is like 30 feet tall. Uh, so, I Stanley imagine just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I imagine our boss must be 30 useless, feet tall. Could never possibly know that the combination 2845. Two, Where the hell is this keypad? I don't see it. Am I am I blind? Oh. There we Two, go. Eight, four, <laughs> five. Uh, I, I got your voice in my head. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer. Luck. I wonder if I put in the wrong code. What he happens? Stepped into the newly opened passageway. Looks like I'm gonna have to play this at least one more time, if not several more times. Oh, interesting. There we go. Hey, hey. Our boss is ginormous. And there is the curtain has been lifted. Nothing to see. Alright. Okay. I'm glad we have ventilation up in this thing. I'd be worried otherwise. Alright, let's uh let's do this thing. Alright, let's not do this thing. Let's click on other things. Nope. I'm back, bitches. Anything in here? Nope. 
There are the inspirational sayings that I was looking for, but I can't read them. All right, it looks like the only way we can go is this elevator with the giant red button that, there we go, I was actually able to press. I guess I did wrong the first time. Hey, not everyone is an expert at pressing buttons. Sometimes it takes practice. That's all I'm saying. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. It's ghosts, obviously. Uh-oh. <laughs> whoop, whoop. This kind of reminds me of Portal. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. You don't know me. Hmm. 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 Huh. Hmm. Uh huh. But, well, on the other hand. Suckers. Give me that light bulb. <laughs> the lights were on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm trying to press the button, but it won't let me. What does that say? I can't actually read that. That looks like just numbers. It is just numbers. Cool. Anything interesting here? Uh, interview, interrogation techniques. Kind of looks like a resume. Which is the same as interviewing and interrogation, I guess. Uh, more buttons. Camera. And people who hate Mondays. So that's a thing. Let's press the camera button. Now Sweet. Fired. No! Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Which one were we? Standard 427? Standards. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. So. I was going to say something political, but decided against it. Hmm. Where are we? I'm looking for us. Oh no, come on. I'm looking for 427 here. Ah, screw it. There we are. I see 427. Hey, that's us. horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control? That is our office. That's awesome. Was the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? More importantly, we weren't fired. So, no, all's well. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It's like Truman it Show and Mog World. Wasn't it? Together. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? By the way, the group, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began hmm. to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once oh, and to, come on. for all. Don't get dramatic. It's all good. It's all good in the mind control hood. Um, yeah, Mog World. Highly recommend reading it. I like that book. It's by uh, Yahtzee, uh, whatever his Ben Yahtzee Krosha uh, of zero punctuation fame. But he also wrote a good book, and I think he wrote others. But I've only read Mog World, and I recommend it. Mind control status offline. Turn that shit on. Or, or don't actually I forget which one we want we probably we probably don't want to turn that shit on Boop. 
Boop. Boop. Okay. Uh, power facility. It looks like Adult Swim console disabled. Does that look like the Adult Swim logo? What are you trying to say, Stanley Parable? What are you getting at? Uh, is this somewhere where we want to be? So hypnotized. So hypnotized. Wait. What am I doing? I have things to do. Places to be. Hmm. Huh. Alright, fine. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought for a moment there. We really want to turn this off. You're gonna let me press this big red button. I'm trying. I don't seem to be making a lot of progress. Okay, screw it. We're going to the power facility. <gasps> Another button I can press. Yes. Five. And what did I just miss all these buttons? Three. Where are the other ones? Do I have to press them in order? Are you actually going to put some gameplay in here that I have to actually do? One. Two. I know where three is. I don't know where four is. And I know where five is. So that's a thing. There's three. We have to go looking for four. There's four. How the hell do I get up there? Uh, it's not that way. Is that a staircase leading to that door? Okay. All right. I got it. It's kind of dark. I could probably adjust the lighting, but I don't want to. Four. How dare you put gameplay into this game? Just doing so well without it. Mutt. It's alright. We got this. Now I'm going to press the big red button and see if that does anything. No. Alright, screw it. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. Calling it off. We're going in here. Mind control idle awaiting input. Sweet! Do we get to be in charge? This is how I always envisioned my rise to power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his <laughs> obligation, duty. to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. <laughs> Suckers. You didn't just activate the control, did you? I'm After sorry, you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yes. I'm a super villain. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until hmm. detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Uh -oh. It's your time to shine. All right, fine. <laughs> Screw you, voice and head. Your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere oh, there are the lights. Until the bomb goes off. But what precious Ooh. moments each one Oh, no, wants. wait. More time to Focus. talk about you, about me. Run. Oh, I bet I... I I bet I do these. One. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Two. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. I hope this is right. Good mood. You're gonna die anyway. 
I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased Three. Them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, or I let the office we can do this. The ground, swallowing Let's see if this is or I at all correct. Crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with... Giant red button, go, don't fail me now. ...will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Uh oh You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Let's try this backwards. Oh dear, Five. Me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> that is or true. Did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off. I did. I look at you, running from button to button, screen to screen. Oh, you son of a bitch! Thing in this room. You son of a bitch! No, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this oh. video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. No! You're only still playing <laughs> instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Ah, uh, you win. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling <laughs> desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the I journey. can't turn it and off. Me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life, from the moment when you fade in, until the moment I say, happily ever up. And scene. <laughs> does it start over? Is that what it does? Huh. First of all, I had to get out of there before it uh, locked me in there. Comfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. So, I'm going to put a break right here in just a moment, but I've got to say that that is pretty amazing. It's so well written. Um... And it's so awesome. This kind of how, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know the right way, way to describe it. I mean, it's kind of a parody, kind of a satire of video games. Um, good analytical look, I guess, at choice and what we think of as choice and agency that we have as a character in a game and how much we think we actually affect the game world. So... Yeah, I am not an author or a writer or a very eloquent uh, person when it comes to describing these things, but that's Stanley the best way I can long time long actually time. describe this. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can <laughs> go without dying. That's so true. Far, he's doing excellent. That's true, voice. If he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep hmm. up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. You don't have to get sarcastic, though. So, yeah, uh, I think this is awesome. It's very well made. And I'm looking forward to playing some more. But for now, I'm going to have to put a break right here. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show your support. Leave a like, hit subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Later!